what is going on fam it's your boy baby broly back at it with another video and today we have another epic Yu-Gi-Oh opening today we are going to open up some packs from order of chaos as well as legacy of the valiant both first edition packs that we have here on our table and i'm excited to open these packs because these packs aren't like the oldest packs in the world but they do take you back to the zexel days and um, these are amazing packs guys. I've been preaching about Zexel for quite some time now I've been talking to D legend about it and We've pretty much predicted that Zexel will probably blow up here in the near future It's already skyrocketing in price as of a month ago. So it's absolutely insane how the Yu-Gi-Oh market is like stocks pretty much uh, where it kind of just jumps up drops down jumps up drops down It's absolutely insane uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh market's crazy. The Pokemon market's crazy. Everything about the trading card game itself is crazy. Even Magic the Gathering. I saw a card the other day. I think it was called like the Lotus or something like that. And that card's auctioning right now at about $300,000, which would be the new record for any trading card game or trading card to be sold ever. And who knows where it's going to end up landing on because I think there's like four or five more days so anyways enough about the uh the prices of uh packs skyrocketing we're gonna get straight into this video uh but before we begin the video of course we have some cards to give away we have galaxy knight harpy lady sisters and cyber eternity dragon all three cards out of the newest Yu-Gi-Oh set legendary duelist season two and uh, both, all three cards are up for grabs, obviously. And all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, drop a like on this video, and comment in the comment section below. What is your favorite? What is your favorite Zexo set? Whether it's Order of Chaos, Legacy of the Valiant, or um, Galactic Overlord, uh, which was another pack that we opened. Um, there's a few other ones out there, but those are like the three that are obviously at the top of my head right now. But uh, are you guys even a fan of Zexo? And if you are, what are your favorite sets? Let me know so that way we can open up more packs of that set uh, while we still can before these prices start going up. And uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section below, guys. Some of you guys have been asking, where am I announcing the giveaway winners for these giveaways? Well, as of right now, I'm gonna wait until the end of the month and I will either reply back to your comment. Uh, for those of you who actually participated and followed directions, I'll either reply back to your comment in that video um, or I will post uh, all the winners on my community tab. Unfortunately, because I don't have 1000 subscribers, you guys are not gonna be able to see a notification to whatever I post on the community tab. So I'm gonna need you guys' help. We are at about 640 subscribers as of this video. We need to get to a thousand guys. If we can get to a thousand, I will do plenty of more giveaways so that way we can stay consistent with uh, announcing the winners. But as of right now, I don't have as many resources as I would if I had a thousand subscribers. So uh, we're gonna either comment back to your or reply back to your comment or i will post it on instagram so i'm definitely going to do that at the end of this month so be on the lookout for that guys make sure you guys follow me on instagram if i don't um manage to reach out to you on youtube i will definitely post it on my story on instagram all right without further ado guys let's get straight into this opening i don't know too much about this set so bear with me. All I know is there's some Ghost Rares to pull and possibly Ultimate Rares. Out of the Legacy of the Valiant, we got Mobius, um, the Mega Monarch. I think that's his name. And then we out of uh, out of Order of Chaos, we have the, uh, I forgot what his name was. I believe it's uh, the Utopia Ray. Yeah, so the Utopia Ray in a Ghost Rare, also in an Ultimate Rare, as well as Legacy of the Valiant having the, the Mobius, the Mega Monarch. So let's get straight into this. We have four packs of uh, Legacy of the Valiant. And we have five packs of Order of Chaos. Let's see what we can pull in today's video. Hopefully we can pull something crazy for you guys. Uh, I also have more of these packs for sale. So if you guys want to check it out, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I sell on Instagram as of right now. I'm also going to be selling on eBay as well, but I'm definitely going to be selling at a cheaper price on Instagram. All right. Ghost Trick, Jack Frost, Exis Shift, 
Rose Witch, Deep Space Cruiser, nine. Uh, we got a ZW Asura Strike, and uh, there's no foil on this one. Swordsman from a Distant Land, Overlay Sentinel, Gravekeeper's Ambusher, and Interplanetary Purple Thorny Beast. Purpley Thorny Beast. Now, if you read this, you can read this in like many other ways. Interplanetary Purpley Horny Beast. I mean, Thorny Beast. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, that's a re freaking ridiculous name, guys. This is insane. All right, next pack. We're going to open up a pack of Order of Chaos. These are all first edition. So hopefully we can pull something good. Because first edition always tends to be a lot more valuable than Unlimited's. Um, as far as like the modern day cards, they haven't really come out with unlimited prints of some of the first edition stuff. Like Eternity Code didn't come out with an unlimited print, but like a lot, nine times out of ten, like a copy of an unlimited card compared to a first edition card, the value is going to be like completely different. So hopefully we can pull something crazy in this considering these are all first edition. All right, we got Full Force Strike, Galaxy Wave, Splash Capture, Galaxy Storm. Gaga -ga Boat and Armored Ninjutsu Art of Rustmus. Okay, so there's our first foil. We got a super rare Photon Circle, Air Armor Ninja, and uh, that guy again. I'm not even gonna say his name. You guys already know how that went down. All right, next pack. I'm gonna open up another Legacy of the Valiant. We haven't had too much luck with these packs, like as far as Zexo goes, but I mean, uh, you can't really complain. You still get that nostalgic factor to it. Chrono Mali, Maui Carrier, or Maui Carrier, White Dustin, oh god, these Dustin cards, Bujingi Swallow, The Monarchs Awaken, uh, Nikitama, and behind that we have a Gravekeeper's Ambush, Organic Golem, Bujin Regalia, and Luminous Dragon Ritual. Alright, so far we've only pulled one super rare, hopefully we can pull at least an ultra rare, at least. Or maybe an ultimate rare. Or maybe even a ghost. Who knows? Let's go, guys. I need you guys to smash that like button. That's the only way you guys can send me luck is by smashing that like button. All right. Zen Maelstrom. Full Force Strike. Insector Giga Weevil. Galaxy Storm. Photon Thrasher. And behind that, we have Mask Ninja Abisu. All right. Koala Koala. That looks weird. <laughs> Sealing Ceremony of Catton and Air Armor Ninja. All right, some interesting cards in this set. All right, Order of Chaos. Some of these packs are like difficult to open. Some of them open up just fine, but this one, this one wants to be a little difficult. All right, there you go. We got it, we got it open. We got it, guys, we got it. We did it all on our own. All right. up a little bit more we gotta undress it a little bit more because uh you don't want to damage the cards all right ceiling ceremony of cotton or cotton or i don't even know how you pronounce that but i'm gonna go with that galaxy storm variable form exist burst royal prison okay and armor ninjutsu art of freezing okay so no foil in that one evil branch zector centipede and dark mambale all right, so far we are not looking good at all. We got one super rare. We need to pull something good, guys. I need your help. You have to smash that like button. We need to pull something epic, at least one card, something. Gravekeeper's Ambusher. Yeah, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna call it the Thorny Dragon. Snapdragon, Gorgonic Golem. Rank down Magic Numeron Fall, okay. Then behind that, we have another super rare. Okay, Fairy Knight Ingunar. 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 I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. But we do have ourselves another super rare. Exis Avenger, Dark Artist, and Chronomaly Moe Carrier. All right, Order of Chaos. We need to order something up that is good. I don't know where I was going with that, but um, yeah. I just noticed like some of these that I've opened, it's weird because um, this one's showing the front. Earlier, its back was turned, so that's kind of weird, I don't know. That's strange. Yeah, that was a little weird, okay. 
All right, Curry Volt. Vampire Koala. Oh, that looks cute. <laughs> uh, he's like Batman's pet or something. Look at that. Uh, Evolser Terios. Armor Ninjutsu Art of Freezing. Over Capacity. And Armor Ninjutsu Art of Rust Miss. Are you serious? We just pulled this card twice. What is going on, guys? Galaxy Wave. Earth Armor Ninja. And Sealing Ceremony of Cat. Oh man, down to our last two packs. We pulled three super rares, no ultras, no ultimates, no ghosts. Oh man, we're running out of chances here. All right. Gorgonic Ghoul, Mighty Warrior, Swordsman of a distant, from a distant land, Overlay Sentinel, Number C69, Heraldry, Crest of Horror. And then we got a secret rare Evil Swarm Evictin Knight. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we pulled something. This card is probably not worth much, but hey, guys, it's a secret rare. That's, that's all we were ever asking for, right? Is to pull something, uh, something nice. So there you go, guys. We have a secret rare. And if you actually look, this thing is like bleeding like crazy. I don't know if you can really tell, but. Uh, yeah, this, look at that. Oh my gosh. Look at that bleed. Okay So we got ourselves a little uh, misprint if you consider Bleeding to be a misprint. Um, some don't some do but that is a that is an epic pull Wow, and this card looks really good as well Probably not worth much, but hey, it is a secret rare and we are going to give it a sleeve Wow, okay All right, let's uh See what else we got in here. Nothing too crazy. We got this guy right here. He was on the advent calendar. That's the only reason why I know of him. All right. Last pack. Last pack magic. Can we pull something else? We pulled ourselves a secret rare, which is not bad. It's not no ultimate rare, but it is something compared to what we've been pulling. And that is the super rares that we've been pulling. All right. Let's see what we can get right here. Primordial Soup, Aqua Armor Ninja. Damn it, we already got like a playset and then some of this, dude. This guy just, he's so like persistent. Oh my gosh. All right, <laughs> Curry Volt, Evo Instant. And behind that we have Blade Armor Ninja. Okay, this is a really cool looking card even though it's just a super rare, but we got ourselves another foil, guys. Okay, Photon Crusher, Air Armor Ninja, and Dark Lawn. All right. So we didn't pull an ultimate rare, nor did we pull uh, an ultra rare, but that's okay. So we're going to go ahead and do our little recap here. We have Armor Ninjutsu, Art of Rustmas. We got two of these. Uh, Fairy Knight, Ingunar. And there's that second copy. And then we got a Blade Armor Ninja. This card looks really cool. And then, of course, our one and only secret rare bleeder that we got going on here. So this is a pretty cool pull. Uh, I'm not mad about it. We pulled a secret rare. It's not like we just completely flopped with super rares. Even though pulling a super rare is actually pretty good in these sets because you're not guaranteed to hollow at all. So to pull some super rares here and there, um, that's pretty good. So the ratios weren't too bad out of nine packs, but we managed to pull this guy. I don't know how much it's worth. I guess we'll find out a little later. But that's pretty much going to wrap up the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you for watching and thank you for the support. Once again, make sure you guys subscribe on the way out. Let's get this channel to 1,000 subscribers so that way it opens up the ability for that community tab. And then I'll be able to uh, communicate with you guys there as well. Also, if you've made it to the end of this video, I will say if you leave a comment in this video, I will shout you out in my next video so i'm going to pick three people in the comment section of this video and i will shout you out in my next video all right it's something that i wanted to do i wanted to do to pretty much um if you have a channel especially if you have a channel um it'll help get some exposure for you guys um, i believe that as a community we got to help each other and we got to do as much as possible to help each other um you know grow all right we can't grow by ourselves we have to grow with each other we have to help each other uh to grow so uh with that being said i will see you guys in the next video peace Don't stop.